In our last episode, I read Rupert's Magical Imagination to you, and Rob, the boy in the story, asked, If I don't feel the way you do, if I think what you say is wrong, what happens then, the boy asked, what do I do, and where do I belong? Kim, the girl in the story, answered him by saying, If we choose to come together, each should play their own part, by giving to the whole the very best that's in their heart. Have you ever been in sacred space? Have you ever been to a festival where you were in a circle? How about at home? Do you and your family celebrate Sabbaths, or maybe the full or new moon together? Maybe you're in a coven, or belong to a group of people who celebrate pagan holidays or traditions together. Being in a circle can be a wonderful time, but do you know that there's something very important that you can do to help that time, make that time even more special? That's right, you can use your imagination and your intentions to help make your sacred space more personal and more powerful. Usually when most pagans cast a circle, we ask the four elements of air, fire, water, and earth to guide and protect us in creating an energy barrier around our sacred space. There are other things we do in casting a circle, but this is one of the things where you can help. Of course, many people cast circles in many different ways, and the directions which match the element are called many different things. Sometimes people will say they're calling in the watchtowers, or calling the quarters, or even the directions, or the corners. And well, they may very well call in or invite many different things which match the direction they're facing, east, south, west, and north. Almost everyone asks the elements to join them when casting a circle. And this is where you come in. Most pagans will start casting circles in the east. For me, it's that way, okay? which is the element of air. It doesn't really matter where you start, but if you'll pay attention, then you can help too. Since your thoughts are energy, and you bring to you the things you think about, then if you use your imagination to really think about each of the elements as they're being called, then you can help bring the energy of the elements into the circle too. When the element of air is being called or invited, that's a time to really think about air and what it means to you. Air is known as the realm of knowledge and wisdom, so when we're asking air to join us, we often ask for knowledge or wisdom. What do you think about when you think of air? Do you think about a gentle breeze blowing on your face? Or do you think about a huge tornado and the destruction it brings? It makes a difference when you, when you, what you think about. Maybe you think about something in between, like what it feels like when a fan is blowing on your face. Do you feel good when you think about air? Can you think real hard and remember times when you did something that made you feel good that had something to do with air? Maybe you blew bubbles. I love blowing bubbles. Maybe you went on a ride on a merry-go-round or a ferris wheel or some other ride when the wind felt good in your face. Whatever you did that made you feel good when you thought about the element of air, that is the feeling you want to remember when you're helping to call in the element of air when you're in a circle. How about the element of fire? What do you think of when you hear the word fire. Do you feel good about fire? Do you think of how good it feels to be warm when it's cold outside? Or do you think about how dangerous it is? It really does make a difference when you think what you think and feel when you're in a circle because your thoughts are energy. Fire is the realm of action. So when we are asking fire to join us, we're often asking for the energy to do something and the will to get it done. If you're thinking of things that make you feel afraid, then you're more likely to have more thoughts that make you feel afraid. But if you're thinking of things which make you feel good, then you're more likely to, to have more thoughts that make you feel good. So maybe you've been around a drum circle or two and, and they had a bonfire. Drum circles are usually a very good time for everyone, filled with love, friendship, and lots of fun times. With the element of fire, we can cook our favorite meals, light our birthday candles, and enjoy the feel of sunshine. There are all kinds of things that you can think of to help call in the element of fire when we're in a circle. Make sure you keep a good thought in your mind. Okay. Water is the realm of healing, emotions, and intuition. One of the words we can use to explain what intuition is, is insight or understanding. When we ask water to join us in circle, we're asking for understanding to see the things that we don't always see or understand. 
Emotions aren't something we always understand, not in ourselves and not in other people. We don't always even understand why we're sad or mad, we just know we are. Um, the energy of the element of water often brings us healing and understanding. So again, it's very important that uh, when we're inviting water to join us in circle that we feel good about it. What do you think of when you hear the word water? Do you think of taking a bath or shower? Maybe you think of going swimming, okay? Maybe you think about uh, what water looks like and feels like in nature. Do you think of a rainstorm or a lake? Maybe the ocean? What do you, uh, how about splashing around in a mud puddle? That's one of my favorites. Um, you can help to call water into a circle by thinking of things um, that remind you of the element of water and that make you feel good. And at last, we come to the element of earth. This is the realm of treasure and abundance, and often health as well. What can you think of to welcome energy, the energy of earth to your circle? Do you like the smell of dirt? Well, I do. What about the smell of freshly uh, cut grass? I love that. Can you imagine the feel of a rock in your hand? Or the sight of a huge mountain? Maybe you can think about trees or forests, and maybe even hugging a tree. Have you ever hugged a tree? If not, you should try it, okay? There's really nothing at all quite like truly hugging a tree and feeling the life inside of it. When you think of Earth, you should feel good. Maybe you've helped in a garden and seen the way that, the way that things grow. Isn't it exciting to see things grow from tiny seeds into something you can actually eat? It is for me. I think it's amazing. Uh, if we're using our imaginations when we invite the element of earth into our circle, we often feel more alive and really, really good inside, full of life. So no matter what you think about when calling the elements to join you in circle, by using your imagination, you, that's right, you can make the circle a better place to be. If your thoughts are energy, and they are, then what you think about when you're in circle makes a difference. What do you think about when you're inviting the elements into your circle? I'd love to know. Please share with me. Send me an email to friendsofrupert at yahoo.com and let me know. I'd really love to know. What do you think of when you call the elements into your circle? I look forward to hearing from you.